What's up guys? I made a ton of X-Men characters. Let's check them out, each one of them, and how I made them. All right guys, this was so much fun to make all of these characters. I love X-Men so much. Obviously, I made all of these for a huge X-Mansion mock. Go check out parts one through four of those videos. Also, somebody suggested that Dazzler should be the teacher in the uh, music room. So yeah, it actually is perfect to put her there. So that is her in the music classroom, but oh yeah. We got Wolverine. Obviously, we got tons of characters um, already in sets. These are all my Wolverines. I do have the brown suit as well, but uh, he'll, he'll be used somewhere else. We got two beasts. I did switch out beasts to have one doctor suit as well. Um, and then also we got two Cyclops, one with hair, one that's a little less, obviously, um, but both are really good as well. I have three Storms, so two from the new CMF and one from the Lego set. Love Storm, love this these minifigures, so detailed, so awesome. We also have three different Magnetos, obviously a helmet one, one that's a little bit different, and then the one from X-Men 97, obviously. These are all great as well. Here's some more, we got Deadpool, we got Rogue, we got Sunfire. These are all characters that we've got in Lego sets, obviously, so I didn't have to recreate them. Also, technically, Wanda, the Scarlet Witch, is an X-Men character. She's technically a mutant, so I could use these minifigures for the mock. Now some pure customs. We have Gambit. He's using Beast Boy's torso and legs, and then Obi-Wan's cape, Rex Dangerfield's hair, and then a Batman head. Then we have Morph. He's using uh, mini Thanos' torso, and then some legs, obviously, and then Metamorpho's face. And then Jean Grey here is using Hawk Girl's torso and legs, and then Sunfire's uh, mask, and then a red hair piece on top. Also, I decided to make a Jean Grey based off the movies. I just used a Wanda from the MCU, and then changed her hair piece out to be a red hair piece. And so, yeah, really fun to make. This next one is the Professor Xavier's. There's the movie version, and then the X-Men 97 version. Bruce Wayne's suit, and then Creed in a Michael Scott suit. So yeah, very cool. Also, we got Forge He's in a Wolverine torso i just switched out one of his legs to be a robotic leg din jaren's face and then a ninja go hair piece then we have nightcrawler he has nightwing's torso punisher's boots and then thrawn's face and then a black hair piece and then the sword of black uh, beard the next person is bishop he's using mr freeze's torso and legs a, a white uh, sorry a yellow belt red scarf and then here he is actually with short hair as well so yeah very cool also you have cable there with uh, rocket raccoon's gun nova's uh torso and legs and then a knight's shoulder pads and then uh general pride's face so yeah very cool the next one is sunspot he's using rinsler's torso and legs and then a skull black skull face and also we have uh jubilee she has hermione's uh pink hoodie torso and then face as well and then um, some headphones and a black hair piece next we have colossus he has a ninja go robotic face um he also has a uh, life preserver and then he's using uh dead shots legs we have also, Bobby Iceman, he is using Electro's torso, legs, face, and then a white hairpiece. Emma Frost is using Raven from Indiana Jones's torso and then a, a yellow hairpiece. And then Magic has Magpie's torso and then Sinestro's legs and then a random uh, a blonde hairpiece as well. And she's using that, that new awesome sword mold from the CMF series. Next, we have uh, Kitty Shadow Cat. She is using Black Vulcan's torso and then a random face and hair piece. And then uh, Marrow is using uh, Green Arrow's torso and legs and then the Hatties Dancer's face and then the new Ice uh, Explorer's hair piece as well. Banshee is using uh, the Hydra Agent's uh, torso and legs and then a yellow cape, random face, and random hair. And then Angel is using Black Widow's torso and legs and then Catwoman's face, a random hair piece, and then Bumblebee's wings from the DC CMF series as well. So yeah, these are really cool from the first class movie. Next we have Warpath. He's using uh, Speed Racer X's torso uh, and also Spider-Man's legs and then a Night Night Nightwing's face. And then also we have Thunderbird is using Apache Chief's face, hair, and arms, and then a regular Native American torso. Next, we have X-23. She is using Catwoman's torso and legs, and then Raza, uh, Talia Ghoul's 
face and hair. And also we have Havoc, he's using a backwards Sam Flynn torso and legs and then a blonde hair piece as well. Next we get into Angels. We have Angel with a Deadshot torso, Flash's face, one of those new hair pieces from the Ninjago slash uh, Monkey Kid sets. And then we have Archangel. He's using the Inquisitor's uh, arms, legs, face without the hat, and then some awesome huge wings from the new uh, Hippogriff uh, Lego set as well. Next we have Dazzler. She's using the Huttese dancers. Uh, arms and torso and then magpie's face and then a blonde hair piece then we have leech he's using the new orcs face bruce wayne's torso and then a gray hat as well wolfsbane is using the old catwoman's torso and legs and then the new werewolf by knife knight arms uh, face and hair and then we have negasonic teenage warhead she is using black vulcan's uh, torso legs and then a random face and hair piece as well these are not technically X-Men, but they're in the Marvels, that X-Men uh, after credit scene. So you have Binary there using uh, uh, Firestorm's torso and legs, and then a separate uh, face and hair piece, and then the Monica Rambos from the CMF series. And then next we have all the kids that are in the X-Mansion. It was fun to make a ton of different variants, different versions. Obviously some look more mutant than the others, but yeah, it was really fun to do this. They're all doing different things in the mansion. Also, I made some Sentinels. I did a whole video of how I built the Sentinel, but I also have the Sentinel from the original set as well. So these are really awesome. Go check out that other video. I love the Sentinel Prime, very cool. Then let's get into the trio. The, the first villains we got in the X-Men movie, you got Toad. He is using uh, the arms and face of the lizard. And then also we have Hobgoblin's uh, torso and legs and then a green hair piece. Sabretooth is using the brown and yellow uh, Wolverine torso and legs and then a Thor's face and hair and then that that new piece the the shoulder pad piece mystique is using that new creature's torso and then the legs of black canary the face of the adventure jedi uh, and then a red hair piece from bo katan and then next we have pyro he's using stitch's torso some legs and arms and then daredevil's face and then a tank and then we have uh, Blob, he's using uh, Bane's torso and legs, and then Peter Parker's face and hair. And then uh, Lady Deathstrike, she's using Black Widow's torso and legs, and then a female face, and then that new uh, samurai hair piece as well. Polaris is using uh, Poison Ivy's torso and legs, and then face as well, and then a green hair piece and green cape. Quicksilver is using Lightning Lad's torso, legs, and then a white hair piece. Psylocke is using the Mime's uh, arms, legs, and torso and then a female face and a black hair piece blink is using sylvie's torso and legs and also ahsoka's face and then starfire's hair and arms and then azazel is using a generic black suit and then red skull's face and then a black hair piece next we have domino she's using an imperial suit and legs and then also harley quinn's face and then a black hair piece Juggernaut is using the Prince of Persia torso, a Nightwing face, and then Gimli's helmet, and then brown pants as well, and then uh, brown gloves. Next, we have Mr. Sinister. He's using Darth Vader's uh, torso and legs, and then Doctor Strange's cape, and then Morbius's face. Bastion is using Iron Man's torso, black arms, and legs, and then a Thanos face, and then a red hair piece. Looks really good. Um, next, we have the Silver Samurai. He's using an old samurai helmet, the Lone Ranger's face, and then some armor over Ultron's legs and arms. Apocalypse is using a, uh, Thanos' face from the mini version, and then the Ice Astronaut's uh, arms, legs, torso, and then his shoulder pads as well. Omega Red is using a Red Stormtrooper's torso and legs, and then the Grand Inquisitor's face and a yellow hair piece. Uh, Cassandra Nova, I got her torso off of Pick a Brick, and then her legs are the General from the Rebellion in Star Wars, and then a random female uh, head as well. Next we have Stryker, he's using Henry Jones's face, and then Alexander Pierce's uh, torso and hair, and then the soldiers are from the uh, Avengers Tower, obviously, and then you got Agent Coulson there as well. Kind of fun to use those to make the bad guys from X2. But yeah, guys, let me know which characters I missed, some of your favorites maybe, but I try to make every main character from the comics, movies, shows, whatever it might be, but let me know down below, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed all of these awesome videos. Make sure to like and subscribe, and have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.